Welcome to the Eat Audio. Release your wolf. Well, this is unexpected. This isn't the guy that owes us money. You sure you checked the house thoroughly? Huh. <laughs> Very well. You, what's your name? Are you his sister? <laughs> oh, sweetheart, you have no idea how deep you're in right now. See, your brother took some money from me. A lot of money. And he was supposed to pay it back. Funny how he runs off and leaves you here to take the fall, though, huh? It doesn't matter what you did or did not know. It doesn't matter. You can't just take money from the mob and expect them not to come a-calling, now can you? That's right, sweetheart. Afraid your brother's pissed off the head of this city's mafia. Which means you're now collateral. Let me spell it out for you. Unless your brother comes up with the money, you're going to be staying here with me. You're mine now. (laughs) If you want someone's to blame, I'm not the right person. Anyways, it won't be so bad, as long as you keep your mouth shut and don't piss off any of the other members. Hey, get Larissa. Have her get the guest room ready. What? You think I was going to throw you in a dungeon or something? Come on, sweetheart. I'm a mobster, not just some ruthless killer. You're safe here. Just do what you're told and don't try and escape. Well, because if you do, I won't be so nice. As long as your brother owes me this money, you're mine. Might as well make things easy for yourself. I'm Dalo. I run this crew. (laughs) Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. We try and keep on the down, though. Cops have gotten a little bit better about stopping us mobsters. My old man paid his taxes, making sure to keep up the clean-cut image. Cops couldn't touch him. (laughs) God knows they tried. Well, it is a family business, isn't it? (laughs) Who else better to run it than me? I was raised for this. Look, sweetheart, sweetheart, there's nothing you can say to get yourself out of this unless you got a whole lot of cash in your wallet right now. Aw, just a measly hundred grand. Well, maybe he has a gambling problem. How the hell should I know why he borrowed it? Point is, he did. And until I get my hands on him, you're on the hook for it. I guess if he doesn't shows up, well, that'd be quite unfortunate for you. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there, huh? My boys can be very persuasive. And they're great trackers. They'll find him. Yeah, there's only so many places he can hide. Oh, come on now. If I wanted to have my wicked way with you, I'd already done so. Maybe you don't think highly of us mobsters, but I'm a man of my word. No one will hurt you as long as you follow the rules. Understood? Pretty simple, actually, huh? You do what you're told. Don't try and escape. Simple, right? Good. Hey, why are you holding your arm like that? It's not nothing. Let me see it. Now. Skin is bruised pretty badly. Will my guys do this? <sighs> Damn it, Ray. Guy's always more aggressive than he needs to be. Yeah, I'll make sure to punish him a little for this. I told you. No one was gonna hurt you, and I meant it. 
Eric. Fetch the dog. Hey. Put Ray on notice. Tell him I want to see him tonight. I don't care if it's just a bruise. Looks like it must hurt. All red and swollen. Need some mice at least. Because if you don't treat things early on, in my experience, things usually get worse, huh? My mom got sick once when I was little. Didn't want to go see the doc. She almost died from a fever before my dad finally convinced her to go to get it looked at, huh? <laughs> yeah, she was a stubborn one. Drove us crazy. When she made up her mind, there was no change in it. Hey, Doc Martens, can you take a look at her arm? Let her look at your arm. That's in order. Tell her the truth if it hurts, doesn't it? Well, Doc? Got it. Eric, uh, go get some ice and some meds. Uh, don't thank me. Like I said, I gave you my word. I owe you my apologies for my guys not respecting it. But from now on... You're under my protection. Anyone messes with you, I have to deal with me. You like dogs? Got of a few golden retrievers, huh? April just had puppies. If you want to go see them, I'm sure she'd let you hold them. The golden retriever puppies. You have to have a heart of stone in order not to like them. I mean, I'm only human. As soon as those puppies are running, they'll be in charge of this entire mansion, not me. <laughs> yeah, you'll get it when you see them. All six of them. Ah, perfect. All right, sweetheart. Go with Olivia. She'll take you to your room. Ellie, think of this as house arrest. Free to go wherever you want on the ground. But you try and escape. And I'll have to keep you in your room. Good. What? You look like you want to say something. So say it, Eric. Depends. Are you talking as my lieutenant or as my oldest friend? Aw, oh, come on. There's nothing going on. I know what my old man would have done. It's the exact opposite of what I want to do. He was a cruel man. After Ma passed... Eh, he would have broken a few of her ribs or sent her brother a few of those fingers. I don't want to be that type of boss. There's a difference between being strong and being tyrannical. I told you when I was taking over we're going to do things differently. You questioning my ideas now, Eric? Good. Anything else? I'm not sure. We either recover the money or a brother. Send some more people after him. Couldn't have just vanished into thin air. I hear you, Eric. But I'm telling you, as your boss, I've got this under control. Good. I want an update in the morning. It'll make you feel any better. Put Olivia on the girl. I'm telling you, I don't think she's going to cause any troubles. She would have by now. All right, Mr. Worrywart. Olivia can keep tabs on her. Feeling better? <laughs> Good. Now get out of here. Isn't Kim going to be pissed that you're late for dinner? She's way too good for you. <laughs> go, go, get out of here before Kim finally decides to dump you. <sighs> what the hell am I doing? Hey there, this is Dave, and I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you for listening to this audio. If you enjoyed it, consider dropping a sub if you haven't. It really helps the channel, and I appreciate it a ton. Also, drop a like and a comment and let me know what you thought. Consider dropping by my other channel. We got Dades Gaming and Dades for Dudes. Appreciate you, and I really hope you have an amazing day. Take care.